Better Living with Liz Warner. And that's what we're calling our show tonight, Guide, to Lead, to Pioneer, to Counsel. We begin with a story about helping vets come home. It's become painfully clear in recent weeks just how inadequate our support is for young soldiers returning home from war. That's why the work at the Veterans Acupuncture Center in Framingham is so important. It's a small volunteer service that uses an ancient healing practice to guide veterans back body and soul from the horrors of war. I was in high school. I decided that I wanted to do something for my country and that I also wanted to be out on my own, support myself. So I joined the United States Army. My main focus was as a medic. I was part of the 28th Combat Support Hospital. Uh, partial amputation. There were some instances where we would see people come in, soldiers that had lost limbs or just had a, a really bad experience with either uh, an explosive device or taking enemy fire. Uh, sometimes it, it was very difficult to see and to deal with. And you, you really want to do everything that you can to help. And when you do lose them, it's, it's very, very tough. With the veterans and the post-combat stress that they have experienced, their nervous system is interrupted. And so by setting the ba body back into balance and relieving their stress, we hope that we can give veterans some ease. I really never talked too much about uh, my experiences. I landed on D-Day, Normandy Beach. When the LST let the side down for us to go in, we were up to a little over the waist in water, and there were dead bodies floating all around me. And uh, one of the first assignments that we had to do was to pull those bodies in off the water onto the land. I think all this flood of flashbacks came was when he retired. I feel that it has, the acupuncture has helped him a lot. Also, he doesn't want to miss a Saturday, so he must feel that it helps. Well, this gentleman here is from World War II. I was right. like shocked. Right. Uh, why is he still here? Right. Well, from the experiences uh, that they tell us, um, they experience flashbacks from 50, 60 years ago of how they served and how the things that they had to do. For those who don't know, how exactly does acupuncture work? Acupuncture is thousands of years old, and um, it's based on meridian channel theory. So meridians are uh, channels where the chi flows, and this is a separate system than the nervous system or the a vascular system that we know in Western medicine. From your perspective, what happens when acupuncture works and what's, what's happening to, to bring them peace? Well, the, the five point protocol that we use is to relax their nervous system. So they find that after a few moments they can breathe a little easier their mind gets a little bit more quiet. They, they find a sense of peace. I do know that a lot of veterans, younger veterans coming back from the war, really want to seem tough. They want to seem as though there's nothing wrong with them. And it can be very difficult to make that step and say, you know, I, I do need the help. I, I do need to come and try and better my life now. I need to return back to the way that I was before the war. I need to try and cope. How does it make you feel that you're playing a part in the healing process for people who've been through so much trauma? I'm, I'm just so grateful I have an ability to be able to do this work and help them. And um, when I see their thanks to us, it is reflected back to my thanks to them. For more information on tonight's show, log on to www.lizwalker.tv.